back to the anime news for the week ending June 29th, 2018. I normally like to start with a new anime announcement, and we kind of have that, sort of, kind of. Uh, Golden Kamui ended its 12-episode run this week, but revealed at the end of the 12th episode that they are coming back for a third season, I'm sorry, a second season, which will start in October. So that story will continue. The manga has been going on for quite some time. Uh, there are 15 volumes already in Japan, so no worries there in terms of running out of content. So that's good. We're getting more Golden Kamui coming in the fall. Have a bit of uh, manga news. Tite Kubo, creator of Bleach, has announced his next project, which will be a one-shot called Burn the Witch. And that will come out in Weekly Shonen Jump on July 14th. It'll be 62 pages long. And um, the keywords for the manga are witches, dragons, and reverse London. I do not know what that means, but uh, you Bleach fans, there's something coming up. Maybe that'll uh, lead into a new story. Maybe not. Who knows? We don't know much more about that. Uh, we do know, however, a bit of an interesting sort of manga industry news. Udon Entertainment has been producing a series uh, called Manga Classics, where they get uh, authors and artists to um, to adapt famous works of literature to manga. They've done Dracula, they've done Macbeth, and they've announced that they're going to be creating a new subsidiary company. Uh, and um, I don't think they've named it yet, but I think it's, I, I think it's um, probably going to be called M Manga Classics, I assume. So um, no news on exactly what you know when that will happen or what it, what it will entail, whether there'll be a, an actual you know name change or whatever. But uh, it indicates that these adaptations are a significant thing. People are actually tuning in and watching and paying attention. To uh, tuning in, you know, checking out at their local bookstore, these manga classics. The let me see here. Uh, Crystal S. Chan and Julian Choi are uh, worked on Macbeth, with uh, Stacey King and Virginia Nito Hay uh, working on Dracula. So indicates there's definitely some interest in in that enough to form a whole separate company just to push these forward. So that's cool. Maybe a lot of uh, kids who grew up reading ma uh, reading manga and who are kind of interested in those classics are getting them through through manga. Yeah, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, moving on to a little bit of awards news, Masaki Yuasa's latest film, Night is Short, Walk on Girl, uh, has a U.S. premiere date. It will screen in U.S. theaters, at least a premiere date for U.S. theaters. Uh, it'll premiere Tuesday, August 21st, with other screenings uh, Wednesday, August 22nd. Tickets available at uh, G-Kids on G-Kids website. Head over there. Um, Masaki Yuasa's film um, getting a lot of attention, and um, there'll be some other releases, uh, other theatrical releases coming as well. It'll all be subbed, just be aware of that. Uh, the film opened uh, last April back in Japan, uh, adapts a novel, and uh, it won several awards. Uh, let's see here, I believe all, uh, well, some last year, some this year, and uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, if you're interested in watching Night is Short, Walk on Girl, August 21st and 22nd in U.S. theaters. Again, look at G-Kids' website for more. Um, speaking of awards, Makaya, the latest anime film by Mari Okada, won the Best Animation Award at the recent Shanghai Film Festival. Um... Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, both Mario Kata and the founder and president of PA Works, Kenji Horikawa, received the award, uh, which is rather cool. Um, in case you're curious, the other nominees for that were Hoffmaniada by Stanislav Sokolov, uh, Croc Blank White Fang by Alexandre Espigares, and um, Shenghui Zhou's S. He, as well as Tony Bancroft's Magical Circus. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, it will be uh, showing in Jul on, uh, at Anime Expo July 6th if you want to catch it there. Plus um, a limited theatrical release beginning July 20th um, in the U.S. and Canada. 
So if you want to check that out, it will be coming to theaters. Maybe not near you, but somewhere around. But, you know, an occasional award, not a bad thing. And speaking of uh, the U.S. Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences has announced that they have invited over 900 people to the Academy this year. It's part of their initiative to broaden the number of people at the Academy, given the kerfuffle a few years ago. And among those they've, they have invited are Mak uh, Makoto Shinkai, Momoro Hosoda, and Yoko Kano, as well as others, Sunao uh, Katabuchi of In This Corner of the World, My My Miracle, uh, Ru Kuahata of Negative Space and Something Left, Something Taken, um, Sion Sono of Tokyo Vampire Hotel, Whispering Star, Suicide Club, and Tokyo Tribe. Um, let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, now, it should be pointed out that uh, the Academy has invited plenty of other people to the Academy who have decided not to join. Uh, Hayao Miyazaki has been invited at least four times. Uh, Toshio Suzuki at least once. And I believe they have not agreed to be part of the Academy. So, it, again, it's nice to be invited. It doesn't mean they're necessarily going to join the Academy. But it would be nice to get you know, a larger slate of people in the Academy. 900 is by far the largest number they have invited in one year. Last year was 774, which was a big increase over the previous year. So, who knows if that will actually lead into anything. But, you know, again, not the worst thing in the world uh, to, to be out there. And uh, maybe we'll be seeing more... Um, you know, more representation of folks outside of Hollywood in the Academy Awards, which uh, would probably be nice just in terms of getting a, uh, you know, a little more likelihood that things outside of the norm get a little more interest. So we'll see. That's all of the news that I could find that was of worth. So hope you found this useful, and I will see you next week.